There is the oldest wooden church in the world. Over a thousand years old. Beautiful little door there. It's only about four and a half, five foot tall. And right outside the door here, you've got the the grave of a 12th century crusader. Apparently, he was a local man and a bowman. So this is Grinstead Church. This is the oldest wooden church in the world. They went between 1300 and 1000 years old. This is obviously the inside of the church. There's quite a bit of stuff relating to Edmund in here. There's a, an oil painting there. Up there on the eaves, you've got the crown and arrows carved in. And on the other side, you've got the wolf with Edmund's head. And if we walk down to the other end, there's some stained glass depicting his martyrdom and the Danish Vikings killed him. There he is there above it. There's also a bit of first look at the eaves, over a thousand years old of that oak. There's another bit of stained glass right up the top there. You can see the other side as well. It's got the the wolf with his head there, the crown and arrows there, then right up there. It's a bit of stained glass with his head. into the eaves is the wolf with Edmund's head and then on the other side the crown and arrows Here at the back of the church there's an interesting feature. Now that there is called the poor hole or the leper's squint. That was used, that, that would obviously be open back in the day. So uh, a poor, someone poor or a leper who weren't actually allowed in the church through the front door could come around the back and the priest could bless them through that with a bit of holy water. The 
So, in 869, the great heathen army was here and it defeated Edmund, the Battle of Thetford. The Vikings caught him, told him he had to renounce Christ, which he refused. So, as you can see there, he was martyred. They killed him by firing arrows into him. They took his head off, and then legend says a wolf picked it up and ran off with it. That's what this wooden carving up here is about. Where it's got the, uh, the wolf there with his head. It's on both sides. I don't know if we get it better on that side. The sun's shining. There it is there and there. His followers got the head back from the wolf. He was buried in Bury St Edmunds. Hundred years later, the Vikings were back. His body was taken to the safety down south, some say London. It was kept there for three years, from 1010 to 1013. Then it was returned to Bury St Edmunds, but they stopped here on the way. That's why you've got all this Edmund stuff here, which interestingly, interestingly, the church is actually called St Andrews, not St Edmunds, which seems a bit odd. There's the stained glass again of his martyrdom.